Shannon Woodward absolutely killed it as Dino. You, that's not very nice. You. So my top five Shannon Woodward performances in The Last of Us Part Two. Now you might say, what the heck, Dick? You did a top ten list for Ashley, but you're doing a top five for Shannon. Hear me out, hear me out, almost four months later, this game is still sinking in for me. Right now, it's hard for me to do a top 10 with Dina scenes. If we count all the scenes outside of, you know, cutscenes and every, basically everything in Shablamo Mademo, we have about 20-ish scenes to pick and choose from. Right now, it's hard for me to reminisce and do a top 10. But I have a few moments that stick out for me and for me, I feel is my top five Shannon performances. But I also think I will revisit this topic with a top 10 after I reminisce more. Is that okay? As always, this list is opinion based, so feel free to comment your favorites and discuss with each other down below. I don't really know shit about acting to be honest, but in my opinion, it is not rocket science. You are lying, I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! I think that most people can tell when something is hey and when something is oh, oh, oh no. All right. Number five for me, the back and forth between Maria before Seattle day one. I don't know what it is about Dina here. Okay, I do think I do know what it is. Like, Dina is very much present in this scene, although most of it is between Ellie and Maria. If you pay attention to Dina, you know, you can see her reactions to everything, you know, the look on her face, looking back and forth at Ellie and Maria. She's not just like a dead NPC, you know what I'm saying? You can see she's sitting there emotionally invested even though she doesn't say a whole lot. And like I said in my Ashley video, we don't know the percentage of what's key animated and captured, but look at this. This is Shannon rehearsing the take on me scene with Ashley. Shannon sitting there. Shannon was present for that. Shannon contributed with her performance in that scene, sitting listening to Ellie. You know, so yeah. If Sham Shannon did Shablamo Shablamo there, she probably did Shablamo Shablamo here. You know, emotionally invested, Dina's reactions of what's happening, you know, the way she gets out of her chair, body language, you know, the way she looks at Ellie. Like, Dina's very present here, even though she doesn't say a lot in this scene. So GG to Shannon for that. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I'd prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I'd prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo, too. Thank you, Maria. At number four, it's the whole mask break, Dina finding out Ellie didn't lie about her immunity, telling Ellie she thinks she's pregnant. I've seen a lot of critique on this scene that people feel like Dina didn't care about Ellie's immunity based on her reaction. And then she changes the topic to her thinking she's pregnant and that it's bad writing, like they don't know how to handle Ellie's immunity in the story, so they try to shift the focus. Let me tell you something. One, Ellie already told her, so for me, I interpret this as more of a realization for Dina, like, oh, you were lying back then, you know, she even says the chemical, but yeah, you know. And two, she's pregnant. She's going for pain, she's nauseous, her physical state is obviously affecting how she's gonna, you know, behave, react, act, and the who. When Ellie says, will you say something, and Dina replies, you know, Ellie, I don't think I'm pregnant, I don't see that as writers trying to shift the focus due to them not knowing what to do with Ellie's immunity. They implemented Ellie's immunity multiple times into the story. I haven't been pregnant for obvious reasons, but when I'm tired as fuck, I can barely pay attention to anything. And when I feel rock hard shit coming out, you know, I cannot... Okay, my bad, but yeah, but... Pfft. Okay, you get me. I'm Okay, I'm going off topic, but... 
Dina's reaction when Ellie's mask breaks when she's taking off her mask. The realization back in the theater. A little bit of humor tossed in when she's telling Ellie she thinks she's pregnant. The back and forth between Ellie and Dina before Ellie calls Dina a burden. Shannon sells all these things well. You cannot tell me that Shannon's performance does not fit here. If you did, I would strongly disagree. Ellie, your mask! Here, we can share mine. No, no, no! no. Don't take it off! Ellie, Ellie, stop! Ellie, stop! What? No! Ellie, no! Stop! I'm not infected. I'm immune. I'm not coughing, do you see? Fuck. Dina. Shit. Can you run? Yeah. Yes. A few moments later. You want to tell me what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Ellie, I just saw you breathe spores. I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Come on. I was bitten a long time ago. The fuck are you talking about? I was bitten and nothing happened. The chemical burn. Can you say something? Really? I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? Don't worry, it's not yours. <laughs> How long have you known? <sighs> it was late a few weeks ago. A few weeks? We could have... We could have still turned back. I didn't know... <sighs> I wasn't sure, okay? I didn't want to be a burden. Well, you're a burden now, aren't you? NOT VERY NICE! Number 3 for me, the dance scene. I'm only gonna play a short part of this scene since if you're like me, you've probably re-watched it over and over ever since it was featured in the 2018 E3 demo. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not the biggest shipping person, but Dina and Ellie, there's chemistry between them. And this scene is really important to the story. Dina helps Ellie find some joy in her depressing times. You can see at the start of this scene, Ellie's, you know, in the back, looking a little bit sad. And in my interpretation of things, Ellie is not the most outgoing person due to what happened with Joel and her knowing fully what happened. I mean, to me, it's kind of obvious. Dina helps bring Ellie out of this. And also, I don't think without Dina in that scene, we'd have the porch scene. Dina brings a bit, little bit of joy to Ellie and you also have the butterfly effect of Joel defending them against Seth, which led to Ellie coming with the talking with the porch and, you know, telling Joel, I'd like to try and forget. Oh, oh, okay, calm down. It's been like almost four months anyway, without Dina. I don't think any of that would have happened. Sure, the butterfly effect, but also Dina starts to bring some joy into Ellie's life. And you can see, you know, she gets a little bit happier, which she deserves. And this is believable because of the chemistry. And Shannon conveys this chemistry with Ellie well being outgoing dina bringing you know ellie out of the hip what you might call it the depressing like the depressing state like if shannon wasn't a good fit for dina then maybe we'd have a cringe compilation of part two the same way there's cringe compilations of twilight i haven't seen the twilight movies and i'm not saying that the people in twilight are bad actors but from the scenes that i've seen maybe there's a reason for these cringe compilations anyway once again GG to Shannon. See, I told you. He should be terrified. Number two, the Eugene basement scene. I love Dina's facial expression and the tone of the voice right in this moment, right here. I asked you to read our kiss. There's a certain vulnerability, if that's a, the word. Yeah, I think so. Vulnerability, like, and that vulnerability from Dina, like, right here, it, it just feels like 
real, authentic. I mentioned in my Ashley video that when I do these, I tend to tip in favor of emotional scenes. Those scenes can also be filled with joy too. Again, there's chemistry in the performance. You know, props to all the people choosing the casting, the directing, writing of lines, and Gustavo for the incredible music, which this franchise wouldn't be the same without. You know, there's a lot of factors that play a part into making a scene work, you know. But all of these things can't carry a scene fully, in my opinion, if the acting performance don't work. No amount of good directing, well-written lines, good cinematography, incredible music is gonna save that if Dina wasn't a good fit. Here, Ellie gets to be happy. Dina is the light in Ellie's dark times after Ellie gets Joel's confession. My interpretation after playing the whole game is that Dina helps lift Ellie out of it. This wouldn't feel believable or even might be cringy if the performance didn't work. And it's a relief. It's wonderful that it does. I don't know, can you? Scale of one to ten. One being like absolute trash. And ten being life altering. How would you rate our kiss from last night. Why are we still talking about this? You said it was a mistake. Did I say that? What are you doing? I asked you to rate our kiss. I don't know. I give it a six. A six? Wow. Like a solid six. Okay. There are a lot of people around. Yeah, but six. Oh. What? I mean, now I really want to know how you'd rate it. I don't think you do. You're infuriating. Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. No one is stopping you. This better be better than a six. My favorite Shannon performance from The Last of Us Part 2 as of now. I think most people can agree with this and that most people won't be surprised with my pick. I think Shimmer's getting sick. What? How can you tell? She sounds a little hoarse. Oh boy. Now, but for real this time, my favorite performance, the split up at the farm. Shannon! took a knife and fucking ah, stabbed us in the feels. There's no music here until the end and you still get the feels. No sad strings required. The melody of Shannon's voice as soon as Dina walks into the scene, like listen to the way she says, hey, you can tell if she's already emotional. It's like, boom, the feels just enter the room. I mean, yeah, the context of everything before contributed to it, but Shannon contributed to it too. Shannon came in with the brrrr, that made me go Oh my god, bro. We are here, man. Ashley's and Shannon's back and forth here. Wow. If there ever is a part three, Dina needs to be in it, whether Ellie gets back with her or not. Oh, with that being said, thank you for watching my favorite Shannon performances as of now. Feel free to let me know yours in the comment down below. Like, comment, share, sub with the bell if you're new. Do whatever you want to do, and I'll see you when I see you. Hey.
Hey. Man, it's been a while since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. Go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay? I have to finish it. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm... I'm not like you, Dina. What? You think this is easy? For you and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. Stay. I can't. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long? Just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. No. I'm not going to do this again. 